When I was asked to do a speech about obsessive compulsive disorder, I thought, who better to do a speech on this? I have obsessive compulsive disorder. I'm just going to leave that for right now, which would normally be very difficult for me because I do have obsessive compulsive disorder, or what is known as OCD. So let's talk about that. What exactly is OCD? Let's define it. Let's look at what the cycle is. And then let's look at what we can do to help it. So today let's look at obsessive compulsive disorder. According to the NIMH, which is the National Institute of Mental Health, it is the unawareness of unwanted thoughts and the compulsion to do things to avoid these thoughts. The problem with this is these crazy thoughts are not exactly normal and are fairly irrational. Now speaking of irrational, we know a lot of funny characters from TV and from movies, like Sheldon Cooper, one of my favorites, who's very funny with his obsessive compulsive disorder. However, it doesn't show us a full spectrum of what obsessive compulsive disorder people go through. So let's take a look at that today. There's a couple of things you need to know about obsessive compulsive disorder. And the first is we have unwanted thoughts. And those thoughts are gruesome thoughts. They're things that you don't want to think. They might be gross, or they might be harmful to yourself or other people, and no one really wants to think those things because they don't want to think badly about themselves. So in order to stop those thoughts, we feel compelled to do things to stop them that may or may not be connected. And we feel better for a moment, but then we go back into the thinking about them again. The fact is, we know it's irrational, we know that the loop happens, but we can't stop it. So what happens from there, oh, according to Phillips? So what happens from there? Let's take a look at this. You see these pens, not these pens, we're ignoring these pens, and you think, hey, cool, that's a lot of pens. Ooh, a pink one, that one's mine. Why are all these pens in here? And if some of you know me better, you might be thinking, oh God, so Vela is gonna freak out. To which I would answer, yes, yes I will. This is the cycle as it occurs for me. My obsession is, why are these pens on the floor? Did someone not pick them up? Why didn't they pick them up? Are they, are they pranking me? Do they hate me? Did I say something wrong? Do I hurt someone's feelings? Do people not like me? It goes from that obsessional thinking to distress and anxiety, which looks like people don't like me. I'm an a-hole. I don't deserve people to like me. I'm so stupid for getting upset over these pens. No one likes me. I don't have any friends, maybe I shouldn't be so sarcastic. I'm such a bad person. No connection between those. So compulsively I decide in order to not feel these things, I need to feel better. So I'm gonna organize the pens because then I can ignore the fact that I found them that way and people will think I'm safe. So pink, pink, red, red. Of course they're in rainbow order. I temporarily feel better and then eventually I go back to worrying about whether or not people like me or whether I'm worth being a friend with. This gets me in a slump and makes me sad. That's not, in a, that's not a rational thought. That's not the way normal people's brains react. This is what the cycle looks like. The compulsion, like locking doors, counting steps, are what create, are what are created because of the obsession. I want to hurt myself, I'm going to drive off the bridge, what happens if I close my eyes while driving, etc. Those are the obsessions, and the compulsions are the things that we do to stop thinking those things. So some of the things are like, for instance, washing our hands. Someone you know may have died of an Ill illness. We want to make sure that we're clean so that we don't die of an illness. Washing our hands, completely logical. Not logical, warring our skin off of our hands. Trigger alert. Very, very tricky. Fear of losing things. You might keep things or you might hoard them. This is irrational and it keeps you from being able to function. And lastly, we've got orderly and keeping things in order because you feel the need to have control of things. This is fairly normal. However, this is a little excessive. Although I think this is okay. So this is what the brain looks like. Obsessional thinking, a compulsion, and the compulsion distracts the thoughts but eventually goes back to obsessing. So how can we help? We can help this with two things. Behavioral cognitive therapy, which talks about why it's an issue, what are we thinking, and how do we stop the thoughts. 
And the other is most therapists use SSRIs, which is a serotonin selective reuptake inhibitor, which is when our brain thinks of things, it stops it in its tracks. So let me show you an example of what this would look like. Remember my brain is going in a circle, okay? A regular brain is gonna go in this blue diagonal line going down. An SSRI, what's supposed to happen with serotonin is it's supposed to go into your brain and out towards everything else. With an SSRI, it puts a stop sign here and makes me take that serotonin into the rest of my brain. So I'm able to function with the serotonin, which is a feel good actual receptor in your brain. So while you might think this is funny, and you might think this right here is hilarious, I guess it's kind of funny, but it's also kind of mean. Because while you're laughing at me, what's happening, I'm panicking. I'm worried that something bad is gonna happen, and I feel compelled to put things back. And if I don't, something bad that I can't control is going to happen. So I stop, and I unstack them, and I restack them. And I probably stack them in the correct way, color order, or so that the handles are all going the same way while well, you're laughing at me. Well, you're rushing me because we gotta get out of here, but I can't stop because I gotta get it done. This is obsessive compulsive disorder. And this joke that you think is funny, it's kind of funny, but is now stressing us both out and causing me to have a panic attack. Kind of like these pens on the floor. Again, not looking at them. So today we looked at OCD, what it is, how the cycle works and how we can stop it. And hopefully with a little bit of humility, we can understand that OCD is not something to laugh at. It's something for us to understand.